welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this time, I am going to discuss about the Rectangular Coordinate System. So what is all about Rectangular Coordinate System? So the Rectangular Coordinate System is likewise known as the Cartesian Coordinate System, named after René Descartes, who popularized its uh, it's used in analytic geometry. So, yung nag-discover or yung nag-introduce sa atin ng Cartesian plane o yung rectangular coordinate system ay si Rene Descartes. So, the rectangular coordinate system is based on a grid and every point on a plane can be identified by unique X and Y coordinates. Okay, so let's talk about the parts of the Cartesian plane. So, this is our Cartesian plane. So, as you can see, no, makikita natin dito na meron tayong two lines, which is actually, yung patayo na yan is our vertical line, and then yung pahiga naman is our horizontal line. So, mapapansin natin na the two lines, nag-intersect sila, which is, meron tayong um, tinatawag na point of intersection. Pero, uh, dito sa Cartesian plane, pwede rin siyang tawagin as our origin or point of origin. Okay? So, dito sa ating Cartesian plane, mapapansin din natin na may mga numbers o dun sa may mga uh, label natin. So, start tayo dito sa horizontal line. No? So, dito sa ating horizontal line, from the point of origin, which is 0, then pa kanan, you have all positive numbers. So, mapapansin natin, lahat sila ay positive. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Dun sa kanyang kaliwa, for x then, from the point of origin, we have negative numbers. So, start natin, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So, ganyan yung pag-label natin ng mga numbers natin for um, x, uh, na line or dito sa ating horizontal line. Okay? So, next is dito sa ating vertical line. Mapapansin din natin may mga nilabel din natin. So, per unit, nilabel natin siya from 0 pataas all our positive numbers. So, you have positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So, uh, lahat yan pataas positive numbers. So, dito din sa y natin, from the point of origin, going down, papapansin natin all of the numbers labeled sa per unit ay negative numbers. So, you have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Okay? So, ulitin lang natin yung pag-label natin for our x and y or horizontal and vertical lines natin. So, from the origin going to the right are all positive numbers. And then, from the origin going to the left are all negative numbers then. So, that is for x. And then, for our y, going up are all positive numbers. And then, going down are all negative numbers. Okay? So, next, we have for the vertical line, which as you can see, you have the label y. Yan yung tinatawag natin na y-axis. Okay? Or minsan, tinatawag itong ordinate. Okay? And then, for our horizontal line, you have here x, or that is our x-axis. And then, minsan, tinatawag din itong abscissa. Okay? So, I repeat, for the vertical line is our x-axis or ordinate. And then, for the horizontal line, you have x-axis or pwede rin siyang tawagin as abscissa. Okay? So, since our plane is divided into four, mapapansin natin, or four regions, so ang tinatawag itong quadrants, no? So, yung quadrants na ito, ay classify natin into four parts. So, dun sa ating unang quadrant, so dito na parte, ito na yung magiging quadrant one natin. Okay? And then, next, dito na part, this is our second quadrant. And then, yung part dito, you have your third quadrant or quadrant 3. And then lastly, you have quadrant 4. So, mapapansin natin, no, starting 
uh, dito na banda ay ang movement niya is pa-counterclockwise. Okay, so I repeat, lahat ng mga numbers na nandito are all all uh, belongs to uh, belong to quadrant 1. Then yung mga nandito naman ay quadrant 2. Then this part, this part is also our quadrant 3 and then we have our quadrant 4. Okay, so let's talk about the coordinates or ordered pair. So as you can see, we have our coordinates in the form of X and Y. So again, this is our Cartesian plane. So gamit itong um, coordinates natin, yung kanilang signs, mas mabilis natin ma-identify kung saan ito quadrant na belong. So let's have quadrant 1. So always remember, coordinate natin is in the form of X and Y. So laging una, yung X susundan ng Y. So, for quadrant 1, ang kanyang x ay from the point of origin going to the right. Na mapapansin natin na yung mga numbers natin, lahat ay positive. So, therefore, ang x dan ay positive. And then, for our y, for quadrant 1, ay nandito siya. So, mapapansin din natin our lahat ng numbers ay positive. So, we're going to write here positive. Then, enclose natin. So, ibig sabihin, kapag yung coordinates natin, x is positive and y is positive, nasa quadrant 1 yung ating ordered pair or coordinates. Okay? So, both positive quadrant 1. Next, for quadrant 2, so once again, focus first on your x. Next is your y. So, nasaan yung x ng quadrant 2? So, nandito, nandito siya na parte. So, from the point of origin, going to the left, Lahat naman yan ay negative numbers. So, x is negative. And then, yung kanyang y for quadrant 2 ay nandito rin. So, lahat yan ay positive. So, enclosed it by parenthesis. So, we have x is negative, y is positive. So, pwede natin masasabi na nasa quadrant 2 siya. Next, for quadrant 3, so once again, start with x and then sundan ng y. So, ang x nito ay nandito. So, you have all negative numbers. Then, yung y natin ay nasa baba, going down. Mapapansin din natin, all are negative numbers. So, y is negative. So, enclose it. So, you have x is negative, y is negative. So, therefore, pag both negative yan, nasa quadrant 3. Okay? Then, lastly, for quadrant 4, so, again, x and y. So, focus muna sa x. So, mapapansin natin lahat ng uh, numbers natin ay positive. So, we have right, uh, we're going to write there positive. And then, for y natin, nandito siya na part, going down. So, negative numbers. So, you write there negative. So, enclose it. So, you have positive and negative. So, ibig sabihin, nasa quadrant 4 siya. So, review lang natin ulit. Quadrant 1, kapag yung x is positive, y is positive. Quadrant 2, kapag yung x is negative, then y is positive. Quadrant 3, kapag yung x is negative, y is negative. Then quadrant 4, kapag y, x is positive, then y is negative. Okay? Okay, so let's have um, some examples how to identify um, yung meron na siyang values or numbers, identify lang natin kung saan siya quadrant belong. So, for example, number 1, you have 2 and negative 8. So, mapapansin natin, ang x natin is positive and then yung y natin is negative. So, ang x daw is positive 2. So, nasaan yung positive 2 sa x? Dito na banda. No? So, ito yung positive 2 natin and then yung partner niya na y is negative 8. So, going up or going down. So, since that is negative, that is going down. So, you have yung y is negative 8. So, meaning, andito na part yung ating uh, 2 and negative 8. So, nasa quadrant 4 siya. Okay? Kasi ba? Kasi yung x natin is positive, y is negative. So, you have quadrant 4. So, ganun lang, no? Quadrant lang naman yung identify muna natin dito. So, pwede na focus muna kayo sa kanilang signs lang. So, next, number 2, you have negative 5 and positive 9. So, again, ang x is negative, y is positive 9. Okay, so x daw is negative 5. So, nasaan yung negative sa x? Dito. 
And then, yung y niya is positive. So, negative, positive. So, meaning, nandito siya na part. Okay? So, nasa quadrant 2 yung ating negative 5 and positive 9. Next, for number 3, negative 3 and negative 4. So, ang x is negative 3, y is negative 4. So, focus muna sa x. Nasaan yung x na negative? Ito. And then, yung y na negative uh, negative 4 is dito naman. So, you have negative x and then negative y. So, meaning, and dito siya na part. So, nasa quadrant 3, ang negative 3 and negative 4. Example number 4, you have positive 9 and positive 9. So, ang x is positive, y is positive. So, nasaan yung positive na x? And dito. And then, positive na 9, or positive na y, dito rin naman yung positive y. So, meaning, ang ating 9 and 9 ay nasa quadrant 1. No? So, next, for number 5, you have negative 6 and positive 7. x is negative 6, and then y is positive 7. So, focus muna sa x, nasaan ang negative na x? Nandito. And then, for y na positive nandito naman. So, meaning ang negative 6 and, neg uh, and positive 7 natin ay nasa quadrant 2. Okay, number 6. Negative 7 and negative 8. So, you have x is negative, y is negative. So, nasaan yung x na negative? Ito yon And then, yung part na yun na y na negative ay ito. Going down. So, meaning Ang negative 7 and negative 8 ay nandito siya na quadrant, which is nasa quadrant 3. And then lastly, for negative 4 and positive 11, you have x and y. So, yung x is negative, y is positive. So, yung x na negative ay nandito siya sa left. And then, yung positive na y is going up. So, ito yung negative, positive. So, ibig sabihin nasa quadrant to yung ating sagot. Okay? So, ganun lang um, kadali yung pag-identify ng ating quadrants gamit yung kanilang sign. So, basta yung labeling natin is pa counterclockwise, start tayo dito. So, this is 1, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Okay? So, that's it. So, thank you and keep safe.